I told him. The shop smells like a privy. I will treat it as such. <laughs> Captain, reporting with the new prisoner. Signed by the Emperor. Shut your mouth. It's like we've caught quite a fish today. Political insurrection against the Empire. You. Dirty old beggar. Sir, he's of the way. Martinian, is it? Yes, sir. What way? Say what you mean, guardsman. He's a follower of the one they call Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ! A religious fanatic. Is that all we get here these days? What is his name? Simon Peter of Galilee. They call him the fisherman. He knew Jesus. Enough! Take him to the box. Let him convert the lads. Thank you for this chance to suffer for you. I will be done. I will be done. some old fool than your wife <laughs> go home calm yourself you'll be fine by yourself i think i can handle watching the door right well i'll see you in the morning Is it you, Lord? Ask your God to save us all. Be afraid he'll deny you. to be judged silently by an assassin's blade in the night. No. That face has never seen murder, much less committed it. I'm not supposed to give you this. So were you a, a, a priest? For a prophet. I am a fisherman. Lord Jesus. Thank you for this food. Bless it to my body and my body to your service. Thank you. 
for my captors. I pray for their hearts to be open to you. Amen. So, <laughs> what is your price? What? What do you seek in payment for this forbidden meal? Just a, just a chat. Something to pass the hours. Hey, right, it's my wife, my novella. She's heard about these Christians and their way. And your Messiah, this Jesus, she's insatiably curious about him. I've warned her repeatedly to be careful, but you know women. Or perhaps you don't. Here I am, with one of the most famous Christians in my charge. There's no harm to ask him a few questions. For her sake. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. What, did, uh, did he say that? Your God, your Jesus? He said, come to me, all those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, peace. Do you want peace? Don't get any ideas. The gods are good enough for me. And what of the life after this one? Are you prepared for that? You really think you could convert me to living a life of persecution? No. To living a life of hope with an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, nor fade. Is that so? Do you care to make a wager on that? If you can convert me, I'll set you free. That the wager would not be fair for you. Well, we will talk then. And you will tell me of your God, and you will meet your match, Simon Peter. If that is your wish, then I thought it was your wife who was interested. with a prisoner. There's million interrogation. On whose orders? My own. I should report this. Are we to open Pandora's box and report each other's transgressions, dear processes? Should I report the, uh, the gambling? The women? The missing wine? The light and coffers? I was wondering when you might grow a backbone. Why is he so important to you anyway? He's a famous man. I've never met a famous man. I'm curious. But don't get too attached. The sentence. There's no reward waiting for you in the kingdom. My master can free you from this suffering and provide great riches. All you need do is deny him as you did before. That was long ago. I have been forgiven. Do not speak to me about your... Uh... Temporary earthly riches. I now have everlasting riches beyond anything that you can provide. Have you? Has your father told you that? 
My master told me a secret. Perhaps he will tell you too when you meet him. That I shall die in three days? Be gone, demon! Three days, Simon Peter. Three days in your mind. In the name of Jesus, I cast you! Did you hear that? A shriek in the cells? What of it? Well, perhaps we should check. Perhaps you should relax. Oh, that... that's disgusting. <laughs> You'll get used to it. The screams, the filth. So what do you think of the gods? Oh! You are boring. Is this what happens when you marry? What if they're right? What if their one god is greater than the Olympians? So join them. I have a cell just your size ready. No. No, I will not endanger my wife like that, but still I'm troubled with what we're doing. They say these Christians go quietly to their deaths. Makes my job easier. It is amazing they get any converts at all. What could this cult possibly offer a man for him to risk his freedom and his life? Who cares? As long as there's coin in rounding them up. Your heart is as black as this place. Thank you. I will find out more. I didn't see a thing. Did you really know him? The one they call the King of the Jews? You truly mean to hear my story, don't you? I do. Did he really rise from the dead? The story begins long before that day. Do I have time? Tell me everything. You may have time. However, I have but three days left of my life. Who told you that? How do you know that? If the forces that surround me frighten you, then this is not a tale for your ears. I want to know. I need to know. Your one God, is he greater than all the rest? There is only one true God. But how do you know? Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. He had power over the storm. <laughs> Made the lame walk and the blind see. He healed the lepers and made the dead rise. So you were friends with this Jesus, a prophet, a living God? What of us, if, if we're to put you to death? Peace. I will tell you of Jesus, our Lord. First, I knew him as a man. Brother, hurry, Simon! He called to us. There, there, I can see him. I can see him. Come on, brother, hurry up. He's this way. We have to get home and tend to mother. There, Simon, hurry. He's there, come on.
As I gazed upon him, I was afraid. Not, not of him. His presence was like all the light and love and goodness of the world. No, I, I was afraid for myself. For I knew at that moment that my life would now become about him. But was I, a simple fisherman, strong enough to face such a life? Simon, son of John, you will be called Peter. Tell me, brothers, who do people say that I am? There are those that say you are John the Baptist or Elijah, but mostly people say you are a prophet. They don't know for sure. And what about you? Who do you say I am? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Then Jesus walked with us to our home by the sea, where my wife's mother lay dying. Her sickness was deep. It was the kind no remedy could cure. But Jesus reached out his hand. Before my eyes, he had banished the sickness. This was but one of many miracles he performed, seen by many witnesses. That is quite a story, if any of it's true. Why would I be false? What would I gain? You have nothing I want. Not even freedom. As I said, you have nothing I want. Even if I believe you, I've already made up my mind. You are clearly insane. In what respect? Well, any man who wishes good health upon his mother-in-law is uh, mad. <laughs> your wit's a sharp soldier. What is your name? Martinian. Would you hear more of Jesus? And accept what I say is the truth. I will listen well. It's only a rooster. The sound offends you? It reminds me. Reminds you of what? I denied my lord. I denied him, not once, but three times. You sinned against your Lord. I denied him. And you were not cast out from this fellowship? Men can be weak in the heart and mind. Our Lord knew this. I say to you, anyone who commits any sin is a slave to sin. And a slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free. The emperor can forgive, a magistrate can forgive. Beg for their forgiveness, deny your lord, and you could go free. I am already free. But even in chains. You are the one in chains, Martinia, not I. Free yourself. And so you will do nothing. You will sit here and wait for death. With Christ, death is only a beginning. 
And what of me, Simon Peter? But my question, let's say you're right. Who would forgive my sin, being your jailer? Jailer to the personal friend of God. Forgiveness is only found in Jesus, our Lord. Down. Right, right. Off you go. Yep. <clears throat> Home to your wife. Leave a real soldier to do his job. Jesus says, I will neither leave you nor forsake you. <laughs> Nothing better to do than rile up the rabble with talk of gods. How could you follow a leader like that? The king of the Jews, right? We were more like soldiers following our general. Can you imagine a different kind of leader? One where the lowest soldier is as important as the highest general? You mean I would have the same stature as the officers? Why would any general agree to that? There is a difference between leading in love of your people versus having the love of power and greed. Leadership. Man was born with the desire to rule. What if your general loved you and felt that all men were created equal? Jesus was that kind of a general. My brother Andrew and I were among the first of the disciples. Captains, you might say. You're mistaken, brother. The master clearly called me first. You are mistaken. I told you that we found the Messiah. I, I was in the boat when Jesus called, come follow me. We were in the boat together. He called to us at the same time. Yes, yes, but I was closer to the shore. There was John and James, the sons of Zebedee, whom Jesus cherished. Mother wanted me to sit on Jesus' right hand and you on the left. Why am I to be on the left? Mother has no say in this. You be on the left. I will be on the right. Jeez. Jesus loves me better than you. <laughs> we will see about that. There was Philip, Nathaniel, and Thomas. James, the son of Alphaeus. Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanite. Matthew, the tax collector. And of course, there was Judas. But Jesus knew what was in our hearts. The master spoke of giving power beyond comprehension. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Therefore, give freely. Suppose it doesn't work, Lord. Suppose I rebuke a demon and it refuses to leave. There are times when it will be more work. Some can only be driven out by prayer and fasting. Witchcraft and magic. 
is not what I speak of. I speak of the true power, which can only come from God. Not very nice of you. Your lord gives you powers, yet you deny him three times? You have much anger in you. You never wished for a true love in your life. Peace. Happiness. Show me these powers of yours. Prove it. You are not ill. You are not beset by demons. What would you have me do? <laughs> Figures. I would have you be crucified and die a rebel's death. Oh, did no one tell you? Now I've gone and spoiled the surprise. It cannot be that way. See how quickly your knees turn to water. You misunderstand. I am not worthy to die in the same manner as blessed Jesus. What? You think it's some kind of honor? You're insane. Martinian, you will come with me. You got me. You will come with me now. What's this all about? An agent with the seal of the Emperor wants to question you about your talks with this Christian rebel. Martinian. Martinian, what's wrong? <laughs> what are you doing here? This is no place for you. Is he really here? Is who here? Simon Peter, of course. The one they call the Prince of the Apostles. He is here. But why did you not mention it? Must I tell you of every prisoner now, wife? Do not attempt that tone with me, husband. You'll only embarrass yourself. Yes, he's here. Maybe you've spoken to him, asked him questions. Well, you've asked him all the wrong questions. You don't even know what I've asked. Uh, I know you've asked the wrong thing. And what would be the correct question? Ask him for a blessing, of course, for my womb so I may bury you a child. That is dangerous talk. I know you're interested in these Christians, but let it not go further. It doesn't, does it? No, of course not. I'm, I'm serious. I will not lose you to this cult. I hear you, but you have made yourself clear. I am also curious about this man. But I will not ask for his blessing. That crosses the line. I will ask him one question. Will that suffice? Now, if you need time to think... Well, I, I, I want to know how he, Jesus really died and the days leading up to his death. And, well, ask him that, and you shall be allowed to sleep in the bed tonight. All right, I have a question. Not so circumspect today. Are you eager to hear tales of my master? There is one tale in particular I would hear. The death of your lord. How did it come about? That is a tale both sad and glorious. Surprised you do not know the answer already. I know some, um, some whispers, rumors. I would hear the truth of it from one who lived it. They say he was betrayed? Yes, he was. Who was it? Why did he do it? Please, I must hear. I have to be sure. If, if your master is the true son of God and you are his right hand, I will be. 
I fear for my soul. If I tell you this story and you know my words are true, will you then accept Jesus as your Lord? If I will listen well, I promise you nothing more. Where shall I begin? On the night of the Passover feast, Jesus summoned us all to dine with him. There was an inn. There was an upper room away from all eyes. There was a table set for 13. I had walked with Jesus, seen many wondrous and terrible things. I thought I had become wise and learned of the world. But I was not prepared to hear the secrets this room would reveal. Brother, join me. Who would have thought that two fishermen from Galilee would be here in this room? My hands have lost the roughness. As of mine. Do you miss it? We're still fishermen, brother. Now we cast our nets for the Lord. Who's supposed to wash our feet? Philip, you didn't arrange for servants to wash our feet? The master did not tell me to provide for servants. Must you be told everything? Should we wash our own feet? Well, I'm not. But where do we sit? We should wait for the master to assign places of honor. Well, why wait then? The order is always the same. Judas, welcome. Are the others far behind? They come. It's been decided we wait for the master before we sit. You can wait. I've walked all day. As have I. <laughs> and so we sat, we talked, and we laughed. Even persecuted. <laughs> even hunted as we were. We laughed because Jesus was still with us. And then he entered. And then there was no more laughter. Not for a long, long time. I have greatly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds its fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose and sanctified us with your commandments and who gave us appointed times for happiness, festivals, and times for joy. The day of this festival, Lord, the festival of Matzah. He spoke the prayer of joy and of thanks, but there was no joy in the room. He was still a beacon of love and light. But over the rest of us, a shadow fell. Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
Drink from this cup, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. What did it mean? I mean? The drinking of the wine and the, the eating of the bread. This is the symbol of the new covenant and the remembrance of his death. You are those who stood by me in all my trials. And I confer on you a kingdom, even as my father conferred his kingdom upon me. Peter? Satan intends to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you, Peter, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, I say to you, you will encourage your brothers. Lord, I am prepared to go with you to prison and to death. I tell you, Peter, before the rooster crows today, you will disown me. Three times. No wonder you hate to hear the crowing of the rooster. I was a fool. But you said he forgave you. Yes, later. <laughs> Not that I deserved it. So, so Jesus became the sacrifice? Yes. He was ushering in the new covenant that his death would symbolize. Do you understand? Not really. In time, you will. What happened next? What does he do now? I don't know. He prepared a wash basin, like a servant. Why? was to be one of his last lessons to us. If only I had known it, I would uh, not have hesitated. Lord? You do not understand now. But later you will understand why I am doing this. No, Lord. You will never wash my feet. If I do not wash your feet, then you will have no place in me.
He washed your feet. That's madness. Your master, your so-called living god, why would he lower himself to the duties of a slave? No. no, no leader would lower himself in his men's eyes. But Jesus did lower himself. I do not understand. Explain this to me. Jesus was talking about spiritual cleansing while we were arguing about who was the greatest. <laughs> Jesus showed us what loving, humble service looks like. But if we are to love one another, how could one of your own betray Jesus? What you speak of is the devil. The devil? What is this? The dark serpent, Satan. He works against God's light, cloaking the world in violence, hate, and distrust, turning men against one another. So I am damned as a soldier. You have a choice, Martinian. The Lord has given you a choice. For God wills that all men should be saved. It's not so easy. The devil was in your ranks. Who was it? How did it happen? After the washing of feet, the darkness was revealed to us. I have lost your feet as an example to you. Now that you know him, blessed are you if you do it. A person who has taken a bath needs only to wash his feet. His whole body is clean. You are clean. But I am not speaking about all of you. I know those who I have chosen. But all this is to bring about what the scripture said. Even my close friend, he who shared my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. What does this mean, Lord? I am telling you now, and I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. What's wrong? What is he saying? That is impossible. It cannot be. A traitor amongst us. Find the traitor. Tell me. Tell me who it is, Lord. One of the twelve. He who dips his hand with me in the dish. Here. At this table. Sitting among us as a friend is a man who will betray me. And as I looked around the table, I saw the weakness that lies in all men. Even us, the twelve chosen by God, we were not above fear. It was the worst kind of fear. Not fear from without, but fear from within. So one by one, I looked at them, and I saw their fear. I saw John. No one was closer to Jesus. No one stood with cleaner hands before him. And yet, even he was vulnerable to sin and fear as any of us. A traitor? How can that be? I know that I have no such inclination. Am I not above reproach? I have been promised a throne in your kingdom. How could I betray the master who has dedicated his life to love and unselfishness? At times, my, my temper has bested me. James and I would have called down fire from heaven to smite the Samaritans. So enraged were we at their disrespect. 
Will my pride cause me to stumble? My intolerance? My bigotry? Is it me, Lord? There was James, the other son of Zebedee. So ferociously certain that he could never fail Jesus, now so afraid that he could. Show me this traitor. Bring him to me that I may lay down mighty judgment on his head. You can sometimes be too kind, too forgiving, but not encumbered by such. Some even see your mercy as a sign of weakness. It cannot be me you speak of. I'm sure of it. Am I not one of the sons of thunder? Is my father not an influential man? I have been promised a seat at your table along with my brother, too. How could either of us betray you? I was there, on the mountain. I saw you transfigured. John and I heard the very voice of God. Only three of us can claim that. Oh, Lord. Will my righteous fury unbalance me? Will I strike out to hurt? rather than to heal. Is it me, Lord? Thomas, my friend, must you forever second guess yourself and him? I knew this would happen. I saw it from the first. I tried to tell him this would not end well. Now they argue over the identity of the betrayer. What difference does it make? Every act has been carved in stone long before we drew first breath. All our efforts and dreams, but nothing. Where has it brought us? To the brink of ruin. What if his end is somehow some way, a new beginning, and it's my doubts, my pessimism that will hinder the coming of this new world. What if it's the darkness of my own mind that signals its end? It cannot be. Is it me, Jesus? Poor Philip. That was the one time I couldn't cover him. The fear was his to face on his own. It's probably me. I'm sure I will make another mistake along the way or ask another foolish question and that somehow will cause all of this to end. Why did Jesus pick me? the Lord allowing me to be such a misfit knowing that my foolish ways will bring upon his demise? I can think of no other reason Jesus would invite me into his kingdom. I am not worthy of it. Is it me, Lord? You knew the hearts of all these men so intimately. They were my brothers, together in our love for Christ. We lived, suffered through many trials. And what of your actual brother, Andrew? His heart I knew best of all. He loved Jesus, wanted so badly to please him. Lord? The traitor cannot be me. I am the first. You, you saw me and you called to me, didn't you? I 
I saw you. And I knew you were the Messiah right away. I brought you my brother. Yes, he is talented and swaying the hearts of men, but I am the firstborn. I am the first chosen. I deserve my place of honor, don't I? Or am I only to be known for being Peter's older brother? Destined to live in the shadow of one greater than I? Do I have a place in heaven only because I am Peter's brother? Why do I come to resent it and thereby fall by the wayside? Will that be my downfall and yours? Is it me, Lord? And what of you, Simon Peter? Is your mind so full of dark thoughts and suspicions? More than I would have imagined. And I felt the same fear I did on that hilltop. The day I first saw him. There can't be a traitor. It's impossible. I won't believe it. But you say there is, so it must be true. More than likely, it's Matthew or Simon. I should say something. Yes. I will stand and accuse them both. What am I saying? Matthew and Simon, they love you with all of their hearts. Maybe Nathaniel or Philip. Yes. Most certainly Philip. It has to be. Why didn't I see it before? No. Poor, simple Philip has the faith of a child. He would be the last to betray you. Who then? Surely not I. Am I not the rock? Did I not walk on the water? And did I not sink like a rock into the sea when I lost my faith? Is it me, Lord? Thirty pieces of silver. Did you know that, teacher? The price of a slave. That's all they think you're worth. I'm afraid. Am I to be the villain only because I saw through you? Am I to be punished because I'm the only one of the twelve who did not believe your lies? Call yourself a savior. Then save yourself. If you will not, nothing will change. Your life will be meaningless, and your death will be in vain. It appears our Messiah needs a Messiah. Who will save you, Jesus? Who can save you? It was me, Lord.
I will not sit for this. The master accuses and then says nothing. I will not sit for it. Lord? Hurry and do what you must do. Where is he going? Teacher, what is happening? Is Judas the betrayer, Lord? Now is the Son of Man glorified. Why did he do it? What could he gain? Satan, the deceiver, had entered into him. He was promised great rewards. And did Jesus order you to go after him? Jesus forgave Judas his deed. I don't understand this forgiveness. If a man plots to betray you, or strikes you, or steals from you, I mean, how could you forgive such a man? Only the Son of God can. Jesus. He is the way, the truth, the life. I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other cheek also. And if someone wants to sue you and, and take your shirt, let him have your coat as well. If someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who asks you. And do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Again, I, I see his wisdom. By your eyes, beginning to be opened. So what happened to Judas? Judas fled. Jesus forgave Judas, but the betrayer could not forgive himself, nor accept Jesus' gift of forgiveness. So he took his own life. An easy death for a traitor? Some have said so. So then after the supper, then Jesus was captured? Yes. Though the hour was late, Jesus led us out into the country to a garden called Gethsemane. This night you will all fall away. My friends, if the world hates you, know that it hated me first. Remember what I taught you, no servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Indeed, the day is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is pleasing God. Lord, there's danger here. Let us depart. Listen to my words. The time is coming when you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. But I promise you, your sorrow will turn into joy. My father, the time has come. Glorify your son so that I may glorify you.
as you sent me into the world, so I send these who you have given to me into the world. Sit here while I go and pray. Peter, John, James, go. My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch while I pray. What is the purpose of this night? The Lord fills our minds with moments of death, betrayal, sorrow, and rejoice. He brings us here to Gethsemane in the dark of night to pray? He is going to his father to seek his will. He is sorely troubled. Have we not done enough to lighten his load? See how he suffers. Should we go to him? He bid us only to stay and watch. Watch for what? Only us twelve know about this secret place. That is what unsettles me. We are twelve no longer. One of us is a betrayer. Why then would he choose us three to accompany him? I feel that I cannot stay awake. I feel it too. The warm night makes me weary. We will watch in shifts. Peter, you stay awake and watch our Lord. Stay awake with me, brothers. What if this is how the betrayal happens? Then we fail our master's command and fall asleep. I'll stay. I will not fail you, Lord. I will stay awake all night and keep watch. What? Could you not watch with me for one hour? Forgive me, Lord. I failed you. And spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray so that you will not enter into temptation. Drill is at hand. Brother. Put down your weapon. Remember what I taught you. He who lives by the sword will die by the sword. Put down your weapon. Who 
is it that you seek? Jesus of Nazareth. This is a tale for the ages. You swear it all happened as you say? Every word. So they took Lord Jesus, I mean, your Lord Jesus, and they crucified him. Tell me of that. It was uh, witnessed by many. Jesus, our Lord, was crucified. Just as it was prophesied. He uh, had to die. I don't understand. Why did he die? Why did he not call his angels to save him, use his power to come down from the cross, anything to avoid the horror of crucifixion? At last we come to it. You are clever, Martinian. You are thoughtful. Think back to all that I have told you of Jesus. So, Jesus said he would be glorified in death. So he must have planned on being betrayed. So his death was a sacrifice, but a sacrifice of what? We were speaking of sin. So, the sacrifice was for a sin, but what sin? He was pure and had none. So he died for a sin that was not his own. Go on. Since we've sinned, he must have died for our sins. So when he died, he sacrificed himself for all our sins. Martinian, you do understand. No. No, I... I don't know. I think it was better when I didn't know any of this. I don't think I'm ready. If I become a follower of Jesus, I might be persecuted and die like you. How are you not afraid to die? I do not want to die. But I am not afraid of death. This life is temporary. Just as Christ was raised from the dead into life, I and all who believe in him will be raised from the dead. Don't forget, I saw the risen Christ. I know he died. I saw the empty tomb. But more than this, I saw the risen Lord. I walked with him. I talked with him. And ate with him. Is alive. I must think on this. I must speak to my wife. What news? What? Have you gone mad? You haven't left this spot. You must go home. You've been here the entire night. I wait to hear Simon Peter's answer. Why did you make me ask that question? You are a man grown. You may do as you wish. You make threats I can't ignore. No. I was as curious as you. 
gone too far. And now I am unsure. Unsure of what? Everything. The gods, the world, the afterlife, myself. But I will not endanger you by accepting this faith. Timmy. I know. You are my wife, and I'm your husband. It's not my duty to protect you. I am putting my foot down. We will hear no more of these Christians. My love, I am already a Christian. How? How did this happen? There was a slave who told me of Jesus. A girl from, from the market told me the words of Christ. I met her in secret, and we talked. Many times. When she took ill, I tended her deathbed. My love, she... She had no fear of dying. She had a peace that was indescribable. She was meek, gentle, kind. She was the least. And she shall stand first next to Christ in heaven. When death took her, she smiled as if she could already see his face. I have that same peace, Martinian. If I were to die tomorrow, I have such rest in my heart. My beloved Martinian, do you not desire to have that same, that same rest in your heart? Call to Jesus in prayer. Ask him to forgive your sins. Ask him to be your savior from sin and punishment. I do not believe my ears. I am married to an outlaw. Do you love me? You know I do. With all my heart. Then you must choose. For my path is with Christ. Where does your path lead? I don't know. You have taken counsel with Simon Peter himself. You have heard the truth from his lips. But what more do you need to hear? Nothing. I need nothing more. <laughs> you still seek his blessing? Wait here. Christ has victory over you. My fate is sealed by Christ. I just have one last question. Where did you find the strength to become the man that you are? from an ordinary fisherman to a great apostle. People line up just so that your shadow might fall on them. What caused this transformation? It was all God. Jesus chose me. He walked with me and taught me. He gave me the Holy Spirit to guide me. And God has a plan for you, too. wager is yours, Simon Peter. You have won. I have decided. I will stand with you and as Christ is my Lord. Now come, I will take you out of here before the shift changes. Jesus Christ welcomes you with honor and love, Martinia. But I cannot go with you. That would only endanger you. I will die. Cursed old man, I thought you would say that. Hold on. Through here, hurry. What have you 
you've done. You would not come to her. What else would I to do? This is dangerous. Simon Peter, apostle of Christ. I beg you, give me your blessing. Novella, is your life given over to Jesus? Do you claim him to be your Lord and salvation? Yes. Then you shall be blessed as you desire. Accept this blessing in the glorious name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Processus. Processus, what are you doing? Do you like persecution so much that you want to partake of it? You heard his words as well as I. Did you not hear the truth in them? I don't. They were just stories. What of Christ, the man himself? His words, his followers spreading across the land, fulfilling prophecies, performing miracles, risen from the dead. He was that a rebel. No story. And his followers are outlaws. That is what the Emperor says. What do you think? Am I an outlaw? My wife? Would you see us tortured and killed? You're asking me to disobey my command. I'm asking you to think for your soul. The part of you that will live forever. Stop confusing me! Let go of your anger, your distrust. How dare you talk down to me? I'm arresting you! Let him into your heart. Shut your mouth! Save yourself! I said shut up! Oh, Martinian! Strike me all you want. I am your friend, and I love you. Christ, our Lord, loves you. Come, processes. Receive Jesus as your Savior and be free of all your sins. God the Father, you have given us salvation. Touch these hearts as today they recognize their need for you. And they wish to accept Jesus as Lord. Processus, Martinian, pray with me. Lord, I accept Jesus as my savior and I thank you for the forgiveness of sin. Lord, I accept Jesus as my savior, and I thank you for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. 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 Novella, you seek the blessing of Christ. May I ask, we are without child. I will withhold no good thing from those who love me, says the Lord. Go in peace. Thank you. How many times have I told you dogs? Political prisoners on the left, religious fanatics on the right. Do I have to do everything myself around here? You two, where's your prisoner? What? This pastor, you great louts, needs to be crucified. Bind him and take him. We need the cell for another. Who is it? Sir, another Christian, Saul of Tarsus. Oh, they're crawling out of the walls, these Christians.
this is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. Is it time? It's time, son of Peter. The cell is required for another Christian prisoner. A certain Saul of Tarsus. Oh, my old friend. Teacher, I cannot do this. I cannot do this for all that you've done. For the sake of Christ our Lord, let us escort you to safety. My dear Martinian, that is exactly where I'm going. What I told you in the darkness, speak in the light. What I whispered in your ear, proclaim from the rooftops. You must go. Then take me to Jesus. And be quick about it. I can't bear to be away from him a moment longer. Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Not as the world gives peace, for in this world you will have many troubles. But take heart, for I have overcome this world. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Everyone who asks will receive. He who seeks will find, and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. Remain in my love. Again I say, remain in my love. And surely, I am with you always, to the very end of the age.